It's the first Saturday in June. Welcome to Let's Talk Entertainment here on your favorite news channel, Joy News on Multi TV. My name is Becky. Settle in. I'll be back with all the stories that you've missed during the week. If you've just joined us, you're logged on to the Joy News channel. The show, of course, is Let's Talk Entertainment, the weekend edition with me, Becky. Now, today we're starting with all the highlights from the hit FM rep, your Jesse. 2016 if you were not there i bring you all you need to know about the hit fm rep your jersey Academy boys. These boys have been training for the past six months. And you see, you could see it from the field of play. We did what Academy boys do. We did what Atletico Madrid is supposed to be doing. It's a beautiful team. You just have to be part of it. And what do you make of this edition of uh, Heads Up and Rep Your Jersey? I think it's super exciting. I mean, if you can see the energy here, almost everybody here is poised to making it a success. And that's what we're talking about because uh, if, you've, if you've seen all that we've done over the years, you see that almost every time it's an improvement of the previous one. And that is what Heads Up Firm stands for. We stand for entertainment and we believe that we need to give the people what they want. It's either we're giving them the best of it or we don't give at all. So and the winner goes to KMJS and let's go the game! DJ Kanshan is running! And it's... Alright, so video that to right. Video that to right. We're going to have a 20 minutes non-stop party. Listen, be on your feet. Hold on, 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 hold on
The Tower of Commander is in the building. Make some noise! What? Turn me up, turn me up, turn me up! Everybody! Put your hands up! Everybody, dance! Everybody, dance! That's why I'm here again, so you lie. I'll be Bassa for life. Yeah, man. So, anywhere you go, we know you can pass out if we go another place. Friends, Real Madrid or Atletico Madrid? Um, I go for Real Madrid because of C. Ronaldo. Because of Cristiano Ronaldo. Yes, please. What about, what about Cristiano Ronaldo? It's a, it's, it's a terrific player. I think he should win the world best for like ever. I prefer him to Messi. Why? Because he's skillful, and aside, he makes football look interesting to watch. This man is not going to be excited about it. Uh, I, know, I know he's a Barca fan. <laughs> he says he prefers Cristiano to Messi. Never. Um, C. Ronaldo is an icon. He's iconic. The way he plays, the kind of goals he scores, you know, classic goals. Apart from that, he's a his name. Messi does the same. No, Messi is Messi. Messi is, Messi is like a church boy, you know, uh, because he's a fine boy. Very fine boy with a look play football, who with a look the lender, and who plays it better than Lionel Messi? Ronaldo has got six packs, you know. He looks at He looks at events we caught up with Papi of 55 fame who tells us that he is coming up with an album which is said to hit Ghana by storm we went away for a while but we're back now you know what I mean we have a couple of songs out there you could check it out on any music website we have daddy 
We have side nigga featuring Trigmatic and we have the new one featuring Luther called Hanima Brashi. So you can check it on, online, like any website. Okay, but you are still a group. Yeah, we're still together, we're still together. Okay, now I don't know. Do you have any issues with continuing it? I don't even know continuing it in the first place. Now we caught up with Episode, who has, well, currently changed his name to Epic Soaked. I don't know, but well, he recently changed his name. Uh, he's trying to rebrand and he's been talking about politics. He says that he will never join any political party or openly campaign for any political party if being asked to. Would you ever decide to campaign for any political party? No. Like a big... Why? Why? Um, I, I, if you listen to most of my songs, even, okay, let me just use this song as an example. There's a song on my album which features Stone Boy. The title is No War. Um, I'm, I'm a kind of youth that grew up learning history. And because of my art background, so I had a little insight and then little studies about history of art. And I think we've gotten to that level where we need to push the political parties aside and then concentrate on the red, gold, and green, black. I'm saying this because it's been like 59 years now and then we're still living under Nkrumah's shadow. Whatever Nkrumah, the plant Nkrumah had, I'm not sure he finished, but then whatever he did, that is what we are enjoying now. And it's so sad for a country like Ghana, who is rich, who is blessed. I think we are, we are the um, second blessed country in the world, like, you know, and, and it, it's sad. But it all boils down to the fact that a political party rules and then when they are off the seat, the next one that comes, they don't take whatever has been left for it to, 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 to go on. They push it aside and then they move on to a new thing. And it's going to happen like that. It's just going to be the same thing, whether a new party or no new party. You get what I mean? So the song that me and Stoneboy did was, we did it purposely for this election, no war. And I think, yeah, we need to just grow out, grow up from just this. Uh, political parties and all of that. If a political party should approach me that we are teaming these two political parties, they're coming together to do a peace concert, not me to headline the show, a couple of artists just to entertain the fans. I'm never ready, but for me to really campaign for one particular party. So, you know the beef between himself and uh, Vibrant Fire? Episode says that he does not know who Vibrant Fire was when he was asked. Do you have any issues with Vibrant Fire? <laughs> Who is Vibrant Fire? Hey, he's an artist. Oh, really? Yeah. Who is he? What song? Oh, it's a dance song. You can say, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I checked the VGMA list this year and then Reggae Dancer Artist of the Year, his name was not there. Oh, maybe he didn't get any nomination this year, but perhaps last year, last two years, oh, he's doing can he, music. Can you sing one of his songs? <laughs> I'm sure you know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's all fun. Yeah. Um, I, no, I don't. I don't have any problem with him. Yeah, I do have a little problem with him. What's that? Yeah, I think we need to really respect. We, we give who respect. Anybody that respect, he deserves respect. We have to give the respect to the person. So, um, I've heard him so many times on radio, disrespecting acts. Like, how? How is he doing that? You go on radio and then you say, example, okay, let, let me just put it this way. He goes on radio, markets himself, because he's a product. And I don't think he will go on radio and market episode. He will market Vibe and Fire. So he, it's okay when he says that he is the best dancer artist in Ghana. But then for you to be using abusive words to cover the rest of the artists, I think it's very wrong. You this all of us, even this stone boy. And I was trying to make it clear that, hey, I, episode, I should be able to stand for a brother. If, if something is going wrong, I, can, I, I should be able to stand for a brother and say, yo, the youth is disrespecting Stone Boy. Because let's all be real. I said this on radio. If you act for Stone Boy, that boy can't match Stone Boy. And, and, and it is funny. Look at where Stone Boy has taken, not even reggae dance or Ghana to, to the BTs. And he's still working hard just to put Ghana on the map. And then you're here disrespecting him. I never said, I never dissed him back. I only said the vibrant, the fire and vibrant. So we have to quench it. Still on music, let's talk about Chris Brown. Breezy inviting Whiskey on tour uh, this uh, later this year. He says that he is inviting Whiskey specially as a special guest on his tour. And we have details right here. 
Atiz and founder of Africa's latest star started record label Starboy Entertainment Worldwide, Whiskey will join American R&B superstar Chris Brown on his one hell of a night European tour this year. Although official days for the European tour have not been announced yet, the grass and greener hit maker made the big announcement on Instagram. Whiskey will join Chris Brown for his Denmark, Holland, Germany tours as a special guest. The two have over the years built a strong relationship and performed together a couple of occasions. Chris Brown is said to have featured on Whiskey's upcoming album. Congratulations to you, Whiskey, as he keeps making Africa proud. He recently featured on Drake's One Dance, which has spent a couple of weeks on the Billboard charts. Big news is that Whiskey is set to release an album with R2Bs really soon. Daily, we had an exclusive interview with him and he tells us what actually happened between Davido and his baby mama and a um, whole lot of issues that you need to know. Yes, uh, Davido has a baby, a uh, very beautiful girl, Imade, with my cousin, Sophia. And uh, of course, there was some uh, riot between the two of them. You know, they are, they are young people. And uh, unfortunately, I was brought into the affray. Uh, but I'm happy that the family intervened positively. And uh, today, things are much smoother between both families. But the latest development we've seen is a uh, fan posting on Twitter that, and, and if I can remember very well, I'm not sure I can quote verbatim, but he says, Uncle Dele, I know say you still won't go to Dubai, but just apologize to um, Davido. And Davido comes to retweet and say, Dele, now my boy. Musician Lynx uh, says that he is born again and he reveals how it all started right here on Let's Talk Entertainment. Enjoy. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. um, it's, it's, life is not about money, it's not about partying, it's not about girls, it's not about, it's not about Jai. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. There's so much more to life. Like, as an artist like me, people might look at me and say, ah, Lynx is this, is that, he has, you know, he's successful, he's this, is that. But at the end of the day, there's a difference between, you know, um, success and fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Success is achieving goals. Fulfillment is being happy with your life and with your, the reason why you exist. You know what I'm saying? And for me, I was successful, but I wasn't fulfilled. You know, if I set a goal, I achieve it, what next? You know what I'm saying? Nothing was feeding my soul. Everything was just feeding my pockets or my aspirations. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, I started seeking more. And in order for you to figure out your purpose in life and why you're here, he's only one person that knows, and that's God. You know what I'm saying? So. I decided to, you know, just drop everything and focus on my relationship with God and it's been amazing so far. So Mukom Banku says that he is bleaching because he wants to bleach. Mm. But we caught up with Frank Artis. He is a Nigerian, Ghanaian and a Liberian actor and he says that uh, he's not bleaching but because he is rich that's how come his skin looks like he is bleaching. Yes, he actually said that in an exclusive interview with Let's Talk Entertainment. I posted a picture in 2005 in Liberia and I just received the first award and she said, okay, this was before you started using cream. <laughs> so I laugh, I'm like, what's wrong with you? Like, you know, 2005 before I came to Nigeria, I'm cool, that's me. My mom is not dark, my dad is not dark, so what do you expect? Cats can bone dogs. Mm. <laughs> so when she said that, I just look at them and, okay, it's just one of those things, you know. Most people seek attention. They will love it that you can talk to them. So once you can give in to them, they'll be glad. So it means it's not the first time you've heard about this using cream and bleaching thing because we've also heard it here that, ah, this guy looks like he's bleaching. Yeah, a lot of people have said it and this and that. But what is it? Uh, my kids, if, I don't know. I can be like other people and uh, other people can be like me, but I'm not here to judge anybody. But uh, sometimes when someone is into something, you get to see from the offspring. You look at my children, you see them. My, my wife is dark, but my kids are all fair. So I don't know what they're trying to say. 
You understand? It's true that, you know, over the period when you grow and you make money, and the money itself just enlightened you. <laughs> yeah. I see. I never knew that. Man. Yeah. I it just enlightened you because <laughs> once you have the money, you this money is there. You know, walking under the sand, you honor AC, you sleep in AC, you do AC. So even if even even if you even if you apply uh, coconut oil, it's, it's, you just glitter. That's it. Away from Frank Artists, let's do something on lip sync battle between uh, our very own uh, Jocelyn Duma and Funke Akindele. Uh, if you weren't there, if you haven't seen what Jocelyn Duma is capable of, all that cool. Yeah, I have it right here on the weekend edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. Enjoy. What's a lip sync battle between Ghana's Queen Goddess? Jocelyn Duma and Nigeria's most hilarious sexy actress Funke Akindele. Funke took patrons back in time with her antics as she performed Janet Jackson's 1986 classic What Have You Done For Me Lately? Jocelyn then took to the stage, twisting and turning, as she thrilled the audience with Nigerian rapper Ice Prince's Ole Kuhn. Tell me something where I know people. So which of these two television personalities murdered it? Your guess? is as good as mine. If you ask me, I think Funke actually killed the show. Then again, if you ask me again, I'll say that I could do better than both of them. Yes, I could do better than both of them. Well, that's it for today's edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. Join me same time next weekend for another exciting edition of Let's Talk Entertainment. My name is Becky.